Hello and welcome to this Tango tutorial video about the cross from parallel system. We will see two different ways uh, that are very often applied. The first one is from our caminata that we showed in a different video. And we have a preparatory step. We start to walk in parallel system. We would prepare the outside walk and instead of taking the outside walk, we have the cross. We have different exit possibilities. The easiest one, and we continue. And we are finished. From the other side, again, preparatory step. One, two, prepare the outside walk. I'm a little bit on the other side. I invite you to take space. And we finish. And we are uh, done. This, uh, that's the first version. The other version is the most famous version in Tango history, I think. Let's go a little bit more here. And it's called La Salida. So we have a preparatory step to the back. The apertura. I go outside. And from the outside walk, I go and I'm in the One more time to the other side as well. Preparatory step to the back. Apertura, outside walk. From here, I leave the cross. And we are finished. How we did the cross depends very much on how close we dance, from which particular uh, position we want to enter into the cross. Is it from outside walk? Is it from actually inside walk? Do I somehow we need to create space and somehow we need to pose this space? And sometimes it will be more useful to think of the ribcage as a reference point, sometimes it's more of a hip. Usually we want to keep a very good connection in this moment, so we will try to keep our arms and uh, reference points of elbows and wrists uh, constant and not change them too much. Yeah, we will see different uh, ideas of how to communicate this. Let's see one more time the first step coming out of the outside walk that we take as a starting point. So we have the preparatory step, can be on the spot, can be hip wide, two steps, inside walk. I prepare the third step to have the fourth step in outside walk, and I'm finished, and I could start again to have. Uh, Another Kaminata or a Revolta or whatever. Um, if in this sequence I want to have a cross, the third step, we said the preparatory step, we don't count. One, two, three. Um, this is the step where I can do the cross. If I do the Kaminata, I will transfer my weight and face my partner like this. If I want to have a cross in this position, I will invite her to take this space and close and change the way after her. So here, the whole sequence one more time, preparatory step, one, two, the third step I create space and by then it's a little bit diagonal and here I create the cross. We continue, four, five. To the other side, preparatory step, one, to create a space, invite your partner to take the space. And if I should locate the main tool that I use to communicate this, I would say it's there. It's in this position, my hip is in this direction, and I close it. It's a little bit also this right hip, uh, uh, not hip, <laughs> the rib, <laughs> uh, that you don't see not in the video. Maybe okay, we change the position. Um, if I was completely straight, it would also work, but it will not feel as good. So in this position, I'm facing my partner, I'm a little bit opening my hip, and by that also my hip cage. And I'm closing this again, and I'm afterwards changing. Yes, in the class, we also saw two different exits. One exit was uh, to have an hot shot here. So I leap into the cross and I open again and invite her back for an option. 
and then I'll finish again with whatever boy I want. We had to start coming up with it. And another exit would be the parada. One, two, three, into the cross. Now here, I change the weight, I project, and I invite him to take this position. Followers also enjoy this moment, like the is doing it. I try the space that she comes around, also back, and we are finished. For them, it's very similar as the, the version we did watch before, just that we have the parada in the room. We will have, uh, publish another video just about this to see the parada in detail. Now, let's have a look at the salida. In the salida, sometimes we start exactly to the side, sometimes we have the preparatory step and then we go to the side. The thing that we have to manage is that we create the space to have the outside wall. If I invite my partner for a side step, and she's a good partner, she will stand in front of me. And if I want to do the outside step, now I will go somewhere out and I will cross my lines, which I don't want. So, if I do it directly from the side step, the apertura, I need to twist that she understands she should take her step a little bit smaller than mine. Here, look, I have space and I can go. The other option that is a little bit easier is that if I have the preparatory step backward, I step behind my front leg, that is the left one with the right, and by that we can keep the same distance and you see we are like, uh, how do you call this shape, uh, parallelogram. And, uh, and we have established this. So if you pay attention, maybe you notice that it's the same moment. So we had preparatory step, one, two, three, and cross. And on the other side as well, we had preparatory step, one, two, three, and cross and then different exit possibilities. So, although somehow it seems right and left, it's the same. It's just like, we take, instead of forward, we take a lateral to the side. Also what is different is that we, we, have an, we come from outside system, uh, outside walk in parallel system, here in the salida, and to speak about what is creating the the cross, if I come from outside walk, I need to turn to my partner already a little bit more to be connected, if not I'm dancing like this. No, I want to be connected with my partner. So if I want to have a cross, I just release this energy and we are facing each other frontal again. So in the, in the first version where we are walking from the caminata, I create this opening from an inside wall and here I take a cross. If I'm in the salida and I come from outside, I think more of closing the hip. Little summary, we had uh, the cross from the caminata Preparatory step, one, two, three, and cross. Let's take it with the parada. I change the weight. I have the projection, she has the lapis. We enjoy this moment. Also, also, and we're finishing and continue as we like. And from the other side, preparatory step, one, two, three, into the cross. I change the weight. Project lapis for her. Ocho, ocho, and exit again. If we have the salida, let's see with two ochos. We have the preparatory step, apertura, outer or parallel, second one, and close the hip to lead the cross. I continue to the side and finish from the other side. 
and preparatory step to the side, outside walk, close the hip to keep the crush, and refresh. And then forgot about the two motions. So we have a simple exit this time. If for the bonus to continue, if we dance in close on brace, this opening can be smaller. So we have the preparatory step, we have the inside walk, and here I don't need to create as much space as I did before. Just this little will be enough. If I continue, voila, it's already done. If I want to do the banana, this is the moment where we open the embrace. So I want to create the space. And here I let her continue, I change, and I'm here. And maybe now I can close again the embrace and continue in close embrace. In the salida, in close embrace, I will always need to open a tiny little bit in order to have the outside wall. So here, I might need a little bit more space here to comfortably take this space. And also here, you see, I keep the hip open, I close it, and I continue. Also, in, in this sequence, as it's one of the most famous tango sequences ever, you don't need to lead so much. She might be expecting a cross, so you just have to co confirm, yes, I want it. Or, if you don't want the cross, then you have to be clear, no, this time I don't want it. But if you go with what is expected, don't, uh, don't leave it as if it was like completely surprising and have like, okay, now I need the cross. Would be too much. Yes, we showed you a lot. Um, I hope uh, you got some good impulses for your tango journey. If you have any questions, just comment and we will reply. Bye.